Well, hello and welcome. I'm redoing this video on my uh, TG6 camera and my system that I'm using now for photography. I was using the Sea uh, Life Micro 2, which is a terrific camera, don't get me wrong. But I think the uh, Olympus TG6 is a little better camera for what I need. So that said, let's, uh, let's jump into this a little bit here. I bought the lanyard, but I bought two of them because one wasn't long enough. Um, I want to have this rig, I spent a lot of money on it, and I want it connected to my personage the entire time. I don't want to be, I don't want to lose it. All right, so let me tell you about my dive in case you missed my last video, which I should have deleted by now. Um, first dive was to 76 feet and that was for 40 minutes. The second dive was to 75 feet and that was for 35 minutes. And the last dive was to 80 feet and that was 28 minutes for a total of 103 minutes. Now, I was underwater for 103 minutes. Most of that time, the lights were on and the camera was definitely on for most of that time. Um, I did not need to change the batteries. I was running these lights at the uh, second intensity level, second of three. So there's three intensity levels, I ran it at the second level and uh, had no problem with uh, the lights at all. Okay, this is the TG6 camera. It's uh, got a lot of modes on it and there's a lot of really good tutorials on it out there so I'm not really going to touch on that too much because I'm just learning. It takes fantastic pictures. Uh, let me talk about these lights. These lights are the, uh, let's see, the Lecton Power L28 Sea Lion. And according to this, it's 12,000 lumens. I'm not sure if that's correct, but anyway, they're pretty darn bright. And I, like I said, I was running them on the second intensity level, which was still brighter than the lights I was using previously. Okay, again, these light, the batteries stayed on the entire time and I had no problem. They did take a long time to recharge later, but that's neither here nor there right now. Okay, um, let's talk about the, Go, the GoPro shoe here is from a company called Mini Focus. The uh, frame is from also Mini Focus. Both of those were purchased on eBay, not eBay, sorry, Amazon eBay. Who uses eBay anymore? Uh, the, this is a Sea Frog uh, housing for the TG6. It was also purchased on Amazon. So this whole rig here was purchased on Amazon. The one thing I have that was not from Amazon was the uh, fisheye lens and that is from a company called Backscatter out in California. They have some really good tutorials. I want to plug those guys a little bit. Now on the dive, the first dive was pretty cool because I came face to face with a sea turtle. Uh, there was a ledge, kind of an outcropping. I was swimming underneath it and the sea turtle was kind of lodged up in there and when he saw these bright lights took off and I did get a couple of pictures I'll post on here. Um, that was the highlight of the first dive because I was the one that came back on the boat and said, did you see the sea turtle? No, I didn't see the sea turtle. And I had pictures to prove it. Okay, the second dive and the third dive were on a wreck called the Casablanca here in Jacksonville. And the highlight of that dive was a Goliath grouper and uh, yeah it was a pretty cool pretty cool fish it uh, was a <laughs> it was big it wasn't the biggest one I've ever seen but you know when you dive here with this outfit I go with nautical divers 
almost every single dive you're going to see a Goliath grouper. Almost guarantee it. Um, I can't remember the last dive I made with them where I didn't see one. So that's good that they're making a comeback like that. Oh, uh, let's see what else we got. The second and third dive were on that yeah Casablanca rig wreck, and I did and took some pictures of that Goliath, and I took a lot of pictures of marine life, lots of coral, lots of sponges, and it was just a great time. Um, I can't say enough good about it. I'm very happy with the way all my equipment worked. I'm very happy with, definitely very happy with the way the camera equipment worked. And I can't think of much else, but I'll attach some pictures here and uh, let you guys see what I saw. If you have any questions, please put them down below. Go ahead and ask. If you like, share, and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And I want to sign off and thank you for your attention.